Biden seems to be hell-bent over getting guns out of our liberal American streets. If his wishes are granted, Kalashnikov guns are suspected to go first. Today we bring you the five Kalashnikov guns you must consider buying before a ban. Number 5. AM-17 and AMB-17 AR-15s This pair of advanced AR rifles have been designed for combat in the city. While the AM-17 and AMB-17 rifles are very similar, they have one important difference, their caliber. The AM-17 uses traditional 545 by 39 mm Kalashnikov AK-47 cartridges. Meanwhile, AMB-17 is equipped with 9 by 39 mm subsonic cartridges and a silent firing system, so it's perfect for secret operations at night. The rifles are created for troops operating in densely populated areas. As a result, the weapons are ultralight and compact. The AM-17 rifle with the gunstock attached is only 50 centimeters long and weighs just 2.5 kg without the mag, compared with the AK-74M rifle, which weighs almost 4 kg. These features allow soldiers to easily alight armored vehicles and operate guns in confined spaces. Kalashnikov Concern, which developed the two rifles, has deviated away from traditional methods of manufacturing Russian firearms. First and foremost, this has affected the design of the receiver. The new rifles will operate through two large receivers instead of one receiver with a detachable cover, a notable feature of early Soviet and Russian firearms. The two receivers, fashioned on a hinge, are fixed into position. The weapon can be broken into two parts to clean and maintain the components of the receiver. This new design feature, which has been used in foreign arms for many years, reduces the weight and cost of the rifle and greatly simplifies the manufacturing process. The upper part of the receiver, which withstands most of the pressure exerted when the weapon is fired, is made of high-strength steel. In contrast, the lower part of the receiver, which holds the mag, pistol grip, gun stock, etc., is made of high-impact polymer that looks like plastic. You can apply all kinds of modern tactical add-ons thanks to the Picatinny rail mounted on top, which can hold collimators from any worldwide manufacturer. The weapon is also fitted with a silencer. Number 4. AK-308 $1500 this rifle was the most anticipated premiere and announced days before the Army 2018 military exhibition. This is a prototype of a future rifle chambered with a 308 Win, a very powerful NATO caliber round used in sniper rifles. Yes, you've heard that right. Kalashnikov Concern is working on a rifle for export that will be able to shoot down bad guys 800 meters away. Interestingly, this is not an assault-type rifle designed for the Russian military. They don't use 308 Win rounds but for foreign armies that are familiar with this type of weapons and ammo. The gun is primarily intended for African and Asian weapon markets to create competition for NATO-made rifles. Visually, the new AK-308 is reminiscent of the AK-12 and AK-15 rifles adopted by the Russian military. They're part of the next-generation Ratnik II battle gear. It also has a Picatinny rail on top and bottom of the rifle, so you can install anything you want like scopes, grips, red dots, flashlights, etc. It also has new mags so the shooter can see exactly how many rounds are left in the gun. What's more, it boasts a reworked pistol grip as well as an adjustable side-folding stock. Number 3. PM Pro 9 $600 The new traumatic pistol PM Pro, made on the basis of the Makarov pistol, went on sale in a network of specialized stores. It is the weapon offered to Russian citizens who have reached the age of 21. This was reported by the press service of the Kalashnikov group of companies. GC Kalashnikov brought to the market a new traumatic pistol PM Pro chamber for 9mm PA. The press service announced the start of sales of a pistol made on the basis of the PM. As explained by the company, in addition to its reliability, the PM Pro pistol has the ability to install various sighting devices according to the Glock standard. Instead of a regular rear sight, you can install an adjustable sports or collimator sight on a transverse dovetail on a pistol. The shutter is milled, a mag with an enlarged heel. The developers give the following performance characteristics of the pistol. Weight, 750 grams, total length, 166 millimeters, barrel length in which two limiter pins are installed, 93 millimeters, mag for eight rounds, a 9 millimeter PA cartridge is used. The price of the PM Pro Traumatic Pistol is listed on the official website of the Kalashnikov Group of Companies and is around $600. Number 2. PPK-20, $1,000 The Russian press reported on the completion of state tests of the new Izhvesk submash gun in the second half of July 2020. The new product, developed by the specialists of Kalashnikov Concern, was assigned the PPK-20 Index. It stands for 2020 Kalashnikov Submash Gun. This abbreviation was also adopted in order to perpetuate the memory of Viktor Mikhailovich Kalashnikov. The previous Vityaz SN Submash Gun, unlike the usual Vityaz, was based on the AK-105 rifle model. 
The very name Vityaz was given to the line of small arms in honor of the special purpose unit of the internal troops of Russia Vityaz, for which these submash guns were developed at the Izmash concern in due time. This weapon is designed to defeat manpower as well as unarmored enemy equipment, primarily trucks and cars. It is emphasized that in PPK-20, the designers managed to significantly improve the ergonomics of the product, as well as the equipment attached to it. The reliability of the submash gun has also been improved. In addition, a low-noise firing device was introduced into its composition. Currently, the PPK-20 includes a belt with a two-point and one-point fastening on the body of a submash gun and a special bag made of material with a digital camouflage color. The bag is designed for the user to carry low-noise firing devices, mags, fasteners, a gun oiler, and other devices. PPK-20 is equipped with a six-position folding telescopic butt, which folds to the left side. The pistol grip is ergonomic. In addition, an additional shelf appeared on the translator of fire modes, which should have a positive effect on the stability of firing from weapons. A long Picatinny rail is located on the receiver cover. In addition, the mounting strips can be installed from the bottom and from the side on the forearm of the weapon, providing the convenience of attaching a multiple body kit. A slotted frame arrester with a bayonet mount for a low noise firing device is installed on the PPK-20. This connection should be familiar to all owners of modern SLR cameras. The bayonet connection is a quick connection of parts by axial movement and rotation of one of them relative to the other, so that the user can quickly install the muffler on the PPK-20. Number 1. AK-47 $1,500 to $10,000 The AK-47 is perhaps the most widespread firearm in the world. Carried by American enemies and allies alike since 1947, it is the standard infantry weapon for 106 countries. There are an estimated 100 million AK-47s of a number of variations around the world. It's a popular weapon among firearms enthusiasts, professional soldiers, and terrorists alike. In the United States, it has a reputation as the bad guy weapon, given its history and usage among so many former enemies. Its Russian name is Avtomat Kalashnikova, also known simply as the Kalashnikov. It was named for its inventor, Senior Sergeant Mikhail Kalashnikov. He was supposedly a wounded T-34 tank commander in the Red Army during World War II. The AK-47 can fire 600 per minute in a fully auto setting. As for American wannabe AK owners, it also depends on what state you live in. The limited legal supply also means that one of these rifles can be wildly expensive, not to mention the stiff Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives Oversight and a $200 excise tax. The AK-47 is the most fatal weapon ever built on the whole. Its fatality count even tops nuclear weapons in sheer numbers. But the first AK-47s were very heavy and weren't really built for aiming. Kalashnikov wanted to develop a compact weapon that still delivered firepower within 300 meters that could bring a blaze of bullets with ammunition light enough that soldiers could carry a lot of it. And that's how the current AK-47 came into existence. That's all for this video, folks. We will see you another time.